to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a full face of nude sticks and a really like just easy summer breezy kind of makeup. I haven't done my moisturizer or anything so I'm going to start with my skincare. I've been using this Josh Rosenbrook nutrient day cream and I'm almost out. It has SPF 30 and it doesn't really clog my pores or leave any kind of white cast. It's not super greasy so I've been liking this but it is super super expensive so I want to find an alternative to it. I'm almost out, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. I've been using this Herbivore Emerald Oil just to give a little bit of an extra glow to the skin. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm not sure if it's the CBD in it or if it's just the other oils that are in here. But it gives a really nice glow and it doesn't seem to clog my pores. And now everything is dripping. The base product that Nude Stick sells is their tinted sheer cover. It's more like a light sheer filtered kind of coverage and it's a really nice like everyday quick easy to go I like it better with a brush than a finger but you could use your finger if you wanted to since these shades are so sheer it helps um, with the shade matching because the fuller coverage you need the shade to definitely match you with this it might be okay if it doesn't match you so much not completely matte and it's not super dewy um, on its own. I'm gonna now conceal all of the other imperfections that I have using the concealer pencil crayon corrector in the shade light. I'm gonna also use just one brush for this entire tutorial because the Nude Sticks founder mentions that she wants the products to be easy to go. You don't have to use your brush, you can use your fingers, etc. I don't think these products work the best with your fingers. They work okay. I do ever think they work better with a brush. But I'm just using a mini travel size brush that you could keep in your makeup bag and using that as the brush for this entire look to see what we can do with it. There's not a lot of stick concealers in the market, especially for high-end brands. And this one works really well for blemishes. The shade range is very limited, but it works well for blemishes. Underneath the eyes, it is not ideal. So I'll first blend this out and then I might apply more of the tinted blur to underneath the eyes just because the concealer creases and looks super cakey underneath the eyes, so I don't, I'm not a fan of that. So I'm just kind of getting coverage where I have those blemishes, but not putting too much where I don't really have a whole lot of issues, like the middle of my forehead and things like that. And the blemishes still kind of peek through, but it makes it look way more like natural of a foundation instead of having a lot of makeup caked on. It looks like more of a sheer light layer. blemishes through the foundation but it covers it up and makes it 
not as red and not as noticeable when you first look at my face. When you come up close, you can see them. But it also looks like I have very minimal amount of makeup on just because you can see these imperfections that I have. For the under eyes, just because that concealer is so creasy underneath the eyes, I'm gonna go back in with the tinted blur stick. circles and all that everything like that just because this is a tinted blur stick and it's not gonna cover a whole lot they sell this eyebrow stylus so for the brows I'm gonna be using the eyebrow stylus from nude sticks in the shade blonde so I'm just starting at the front very lightly this is a pretty waxy pen so it's pretty hard to overdo it and as you can see, this is very warm toned compared to my hair. My hair is wet right now, but you can see it's really warm toned. So this would be great for someone with auburn hair or more warm toned blonde. So the applicator on this just twist off and you get a smaller type mascara wand. Doesn't feel super heavy on the brows. And does a pretty good job at molding them into place. I have a few of their eye colors, their magnetic eye colors in matte and shimmers. And I think these are pretty nice products. So I'm going to be going in with the shade Rustic Grotto. I'm just going to apply it all over the lids and blend it out. I think these colors are nice but I think you can find just as good at the drugstore. Rummel makes some really nice eye pencils that are matte and shimmery, that stay put all day, waterproof, etc. So I don't think these are necessary for the price tag. I don't think they're worth it, but sometimes in sets, they have sets which brings the price down a little bit. gonna take this shade called Priya in their magnetic luminous eye colors and I'm gonna apply that to the inner corner and the inner third of the lid. I'm gonna apply their lash lengthening mascara. This is a really lengthening mascara. It doesn't do a whole lot in terms of volume. But if you like natural looking lashes, if you like natural looking lashes that just look kind of defined, you might like this mascara. But I think you can get similar similar products at the drugstore. It's just not a standout product for me. So there the eyes are done with the mascara. It looks really pretty, but again, I think for the price of the mascara, uh, it's easier to just get a drugstore mascara just because you have to throw out mascaras every three months anyways. And you really go through a whole one, and I don't believe that they have travel size of this mascara. The tinted blur stick is starting to crease underneath the eyes, but that's to be expected. It's not supposed to be heavily applied underneath the eyes. And if I were to do that in my day to day, I would powder it so it wouldn't crease, but I'm not going to powder today just because they don't actually sell a powder. I'm going to be using the Illuminati highlighter. It's a clear highlighter with a pink shift to it. It's a really pretty highlight. I've used actually quite a bit of it and I really like it. It works really nicely over top of foundation and I wouldn't normally draw it on, but with these nude stick products and because it's so sheer it actually doesn't affect their tinted blur stick but some foundations it will um, definitely pick up the product underneath especially if it's 
a thicker full coverage foundation in that case i would use a brush on top of it and apply it with a brush or with your fingertips instead of just drawing it right on i'm just gonna blend that out with the same brush that we use for the foundation Now apply the bronze, apply a bronzer. I'm using their Nudies Matte All Over Bronze Color in the shade Sunkiss. This is not meant for my skin tone, but it is the bronzer that I got within a kit. It's it's dark and it's pretty red toned. But if you do like a red toned bronzer, this would be a great option for you. And again with this, you can apply it with the brush or just draw it straight on if you want. But I find um, when I draw it straight on, it never affects foundation or anything underneath. With the highlight, it sometimes does, but with their matte products, I never find that it picks up any powder or anything on the face. I'm going to take their new Nudies Bloom color in the shade Poppy Girl. And this is a orangey red. Taking again the same brush and just blending it, and just blending it up and back. It looks like a really natural blush just because it is on more of the red side for me. And when I blush, oh, I look like a tomato. They have a lot of different lip products. They have their magnetic matte lips lip products, their gel colors, their intense mattes. I would stay away from the magnetic mattes. I think they dry out your lips and make them look like dried out li liquid lipstick would make your lips look. They're not a I'm not a fan, but their intense mattes are really nice and creamy. I also like their gel color lip and cheek balms. I use them only on my lips. I don't think they're that great for cheek application, but do as you wish. I'm going to go in with the shade Haven. It's in their gel color lip and cheek. It's just a sheerish nude color. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this natural makeup with sheer coverage and really pretty dewy skin. I think dewy skin is mainly because of the herbivore emerald oil. I think that's a really great product. The standout products for me from Nude Sticks are their cheek color, so their bronzers. The things that come in these packagings are always really, really good. I haven't been disappointed with any of them. Their new blooms um, are a bit tacky if you touch them, but you can't feel it on your skin unless you apply probably a lot of product. Another standout product for me is their tinted blur stick because it just gives you like a filtered look and it lasts really nice throughout the whole day. I haven't seen any other products really like this. If you have, let me know in the comments because this is pretty expensive for a very little amount of product and for how much I use, it's maybe not the greatest value for my money at all. Eyebrow pencil, I think it was really nice, especially for travel because you have the pencil and you have the gel, you don't have to think about it. This can be your whole eyebrow kit just in one and I think this is really quick and easy and really nice. The other products are all really, really nice products, but I feel like you can get cheaper items at the drugstore for the same quality. I hope you guys enjoyed this. My skin doesn't look perfect. You can still see blemishes, but I really hope you enjoyed that really close-up application so you actually can see my skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe for more videos. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it or comment down below and I'll try to shoot more videos in the same style. So. I will see you guys next time in my next video and thank you for sticking with me. The next video I do think will be a giveaway so stay tuned for that. Okay, <laughs> enough rambling. I'll see you guys later. Bye.